the School of Excellence. Hello and welcome to the fourth season of the grand finale of the Daily Star Spelling Bee Enlightened by Summit brought to you by Champs21.com in association with Blue. I'm Ramana Malik Munmun. Ladies and gentlemen, can we have a huge round of applause for all those spellers who are sitting right in front of us at the beginning of the show, please. As you can see, there's a gorgeous trophy waiting for our champion speller of season four. Shamanita Shuti Brinto. Spelling bee in Bangladesh, char bachor pari dite chole chhe. Kintu ir shuru ta jodi ek tu pechon phir takai. I am talking about Mr. Russell T. Ahmed, CEO of Champs21.com, who dreamt of spelling bee in Bangladesh. चेन्ज कर छोट प्लैटफर्म थे आंदोलन नेमे छात्र शिक्षक अभिभावक सहयोगी संगठन जरा आज सबा के लिए Finally, let me take this pleasure and opportunity to officially thank Mr. Ajis Khan, the uh, Honorable Chairman of Summit Group. Our sincere thanks to Blue. Thanks, Janai, Channel IK. Last but not least, the Daily Star. Our Ekbar Summit is with us. Shakul teacher, their ke salute. We believe, we believe from our heart, teachers are the real nation builders, and my. Uh, advanced congratulations to the upcoming champion of season 4 and my uh, all my best wishes to all of you all the six spellers thank you very much once again thank you all shomoroto shudhi brindo amader spelling bee season 4 er ajker ei grand finale onushchito hocche independent university of bangladesh er premises e tai amra dhonnobad janate chai ami boktobo rakhar jonno onurodh korchi Independent University of Bangladesh is shown to Vice Chancellor Mr. M. Omar Rahman K. Shabai ki amar priti aur shubhcha. This is really a pleasure and a privilege for me to be here today, and on the behalf of my institution, Independent University of Bangladesh, IUB, to host the grand finale 2015 of the fourth season of the Spelling Bee. Best of luck and thank you again. Shamanita Shuti, we are pleased to have amongst us the director and head of news of Impress Tel Films, Mr. Shaik Shiraj. May I please request him to come up on stage and address the audience? After the Shabai ke spelling bee for season the grand finale re aaye jone, onik onik shubhe chhe janat chhi. Amar pokhu theke, bung chani lai pokhu theke. Ita shudhi matru ingreji banan shikhar ekjo nushtan hoy. Abhi moni prani shita vishash kuri. Itai hobi shampi jeta Bangladesh. Jeta tumra chala be agami the, tomadir jonne ashong ko dhanda bad. श्रेष्ठ इंग्रेजी स्पेलर के खुजे बेर कर the spelling b is a magnificent combination of education through technology ekta khelar madhye jodi shikshar byapar ta amra niye jete pari ekdom ghore ghore grame ganje ebong seta shudhui somvob sarkarer prishtoposhokota thakle srijon shilota hocche ei ekobingsho shatabdir mul chabi khati ami sei srijon shilota ke aro utsahito korar jonne amra spelling b korchi हमें सबा के अभिनंदन जाना छात्र छात्री और विशेषकर जरा आजकल प्रतिजोगार फाइनलिस्ट एस तुम्हारा सबाई सम्मान प्राप्य एवं जे फाइनलिस्ट हो चम्पियन ताके अग्रिम अभिनंदन और सब शेषे शिक्षक शिक्षा प्रतिष्ठान अपन के अभिनंदन एवं सबाई के आज के अनुष्ठने आसार जन अनेक अनेक धन्यवाद Ladies and gentlemen, Summit has given us tremendous support and encouragement throughout this season. 
Now I'd like to call on stage Mr. Mohammad Aziz Khan, the chairman of Summit Group, to address the audience. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mohammad Aziz Khan. Truly, this is amazing that all of you can think so much and do so well, work so hard, spell so good, persevere. Each and every good attribute of a human being, of the leader, is in each of the spellers that I have seen. All you need to do is wish, wish for something very much like you are doing today to win in the spelling bee. You have to wish for that and work hard and persevere for that. Remain at it, maintain an integrity, be sincere, do not cut corners. Be sincere to your work, work hard, you will achieve it. And you will achieve greatness for yourself, you will achieve greatness for the Bengalis, you will achieve greatness for Bangladesh, and you will bring humanity and civility to the whole world. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to have amongst us the Honorable State Minister, Ministry of ICT, Mr. Zunad Ahmed Pollock MP as our chief guest. Let's hear from him what he thinks about this initiative. Shubhetsa Shabai ke, Bangabudhu bolten, Shunar Bangla gorte gile, Shunar Manush gorte habe. Tai Shunar Manush gorar jurno, Spelling B, Atta onno tomo, Joggo platform. এটি বিশ্বের অনেক দেশে হচ্ছে আমাদের দেশে 4 বছর হলো হচ্ছে কিন্তু আমি ইউটিউবে দেখছিলাম অন্যান্য দেশের স্পেলিং বি যে আয়োজন তার সাথে বাংলাদেশের আয়োজনটার তুলনামূলক চিত্রটা কেমন আমি বলবো যে আমাদের আয়োজন হচ্ছে বেস্ট আমাদের স্পেলার হচ্ছে ওয়ার্ল্ডের বেস্ট স্পেলার আমাদের আজকের এই 10 লাখ স্পেলাররাই ভবিষ্যৎ ডিজিটাল বাংলাদেশের নেতৃত্ব দেবে সেটাই আমরা প্রত্যাশা করি তাই আইসিটি ডিভিশন আজকে আনন্দের সাথে এই প্রতিশ্রুতি ব্যক্ত করতে চায় যে সেশন ফাইভে আমরা স্পেলিং বির পার্টনার হতে চাই সারা বাংলাদেশের জেলা পর্যায়ে উপজেলা পর্যায়ে যেন আমরা এই কম্পিটিশনকে নিয়ে যেতে পারি সেটা আমরা সবভাবেই আমরা আমাদের সহযোগিতা পৃষ্ঠপোষকতা দান করতে চাই সবাইকে ধন্যবাদ জয় বাংলা জয় বঙ্গবন্ধু থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি ভেরি মাচ ফর ইউর ইন্সপিরেশনাল ওয়ার্ডস সম্মানিত সুধীবৃন্দ আমার স্পেলার্সরা এখন আমরা সবাই মিলে স্পেলিং বি এর থিম সং এর সাথে কণ্ঠ মেলাবো আর ইউ অলরেডি অল রাইট দেন গুড বাই স্পেলিং মিস্টেক বাই 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 মন ভালো না হ্যালো রাইট স্পেলিং চলো আমাদের সাথে চলো না বাই 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 সব কিছু বাই 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 আগলিনেস বাই 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 ভুল ভাল সব কিছু ভুল বানান ভাল লাগে না যা ভাল লাগে করি বাতাস ছিরি ছিরি স্পেলিং এর সাথে কথা বলি বাধা দিলেও ইচ্ছে মতো চলি কোথাও আমার হারিয়ে যাওয়ার নেই মানা মানা করলেও শুনব না 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 চলে আসো স্পেলিং বি তৈরি হয়ে যাও গেটি গো 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 Our six finalists to begin with Chaudhary Nabila Tasneem, student of Cardiff International School, Dhaka, and she is accompanied by Saif, our second runner up from third season. Welcome, Nabila. Now, moving on to our second finalist. Yes, it is. Tausif Hussain Khan, student of Mirzapur Cadet College, representing Tanga. And he is accompanied by Nayarin, our first runner-up from third season. Welcome, 
Joseph? All right, moving on. Our next finalist is Parisa Islam, student of... <laughs> student of Mirpur Girls Idol Laboratory Institute, representing Dhaka and accompanied by none other than by our champion scholar from second season, Sanjay Kisan. Moving on, our next finalist, Sabir Hussain Shagor, student of Maple Leaf International School, Dhaka, accompanied by Haseen, our third season finalist. Welcome, Shagor. Moving on, Lamia Mezabin, student of Fenny Girls Cadet College, representing Fenny and accompanied by our third season's champion speller, Wasik Hassan. Welcome, Namia. And now, our sixth finalist. It is Saqib Ahmed, student of Anand Niketan Select, accompanied by Aisha, our third season's finalist. Welcome, Saqib. All right. The stage is set. Our spellers are ready. The audience is eagerly waiting. But one person is missing, isn't it? We should welcome him now, right? And who it is? It's none other than our official pronouncer, Mr. Zunaid Rabbani. Let's welcome him now. Hello. Hi, Manmun. How are you? I'm fine, and I'm excited as I can see my six spellers are waiting for the spelling contest. How are you feeling coming at the end of the season? Like you said, super excited. I had a word with them in the backstage and they look confident. So I'm looking forward to a very exciting and very intense grand finale. Good luck. <laughs> okay then, are we all ready? Yes. yes. All right. We'll start our first round, which is spell it. You all know the rules. So we are ready to start the first round of our grand finale. Here we go, and we begin with you, Nabila. All the very best. Nabila, the first word is histidine. Histidine, and it means a basic amino acid, which is a constituent of most proteins. The word is histidine. H-I-S-T-A-D-I-N, histidine? That is incorrect, but you almost had it. The correct spelling is H-I-S-T-I-D-I-N-E, histidine. Okay, we have four more words to go. Go for it, good luck. The second word for you is bismarch, and it means damage the opinion that people have of somebody or something. The word is bismarch. Bismarch. Bismarch is the word. B-I-S-M-E-R-C-H-E. That is incorrect. Uh-oh. But again, you came very close. The correct spelling is B-E-S-M-I-R-C-H, Bismarch. All right, three more words left. Good luck. The third word for you is Julienne. Julienne. Julienne, and it means a portion of food cut into short, thin strips. J-U-L-L-I-E-N-E, -L -L -E -E, Julienne. That is incorrect. Uh-oh. The correct spelling is J-U-L-I-E-N-N-E, -N -N -E, Julienne. That's why I welcome our pronouncer a little late because he gives us all the tough word. Anyways, Nabila, cheer up. We can do it, right? Two more words to go. Can we have a round of applause for Nabila? <laughs> all right. We can do it. Let's move on. The fourth word is braggadocio, and it means behavior that seems too proud or confident. The word is braggadocio. B-R-A-G-G-A-D-O. C-H-I-O. Pronounce it if you're done. Braggadocio. Down. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is B-R-A-G-G-A-D-O-C-I-O. -G -G Braggadocio. That's all right. You know the spelling. You can do it, Nabila. Last word for you. Ready? Okay. Go for it. The final word is Gleichaltung, and it means the standardization of political, economic, and social institutions as carried out in authoritarian states. G-L-E-I-C-H-S-C-H-A-L-T-U-N-G. Like Shaltoon. That is correct. There you go! 15 points for you. Oh, you should have asked that word first. 
Next I knew she knew all the words, but it happens in this tension and in this grand finale, right? Take a deep breath. Yes. So well done, Nabila. You earned your 15 points from this round. Moving on to our next finalist, Tausif. We can see a big smile on your face. Confident? Yes. All the very best. Tausif, the first word for you is obfuscate. Obfuscate, and it means to make something less clear and more difficult to understand, usually deliberately. The word is obfuscate. O B F U S C A T E. Obfuscate. That is correct. Good start. 15 points. The second word for you is convivial. Convivial, and it means friendly, lively, and enjoyable. The word is convivial. C O N V I V I A L. Convivial. That is correct. Two on two. The next word is seance, alternately pronounced as seance, and it means a meeting at which people try to make contact with and talk to the spirits of dead people. S A I A N C E, seance. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is S E A N C E, seance. All right then, moving on for the next word. The fourth word is trachena. Trachena. And it means a saddle horse of a light breed. The word is trachena. T R A C H I N A. Trachena. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is T R A K E H N E R. Trachena. One more word to go. Are you ready, Tausif? Yes. Good luck. The final word for you is Wissenschaft. Wissenschaft. And it means the systematic pursuit of knowledge, learning, and scholarship, especially as contrasted with its application. The word is Wissenschaft. Can you pronounce it again? Wissenschaft is the word. Start, start. Can you pronounce it again? No, Wissenschaft. No, no, start, start. B I S S E N S S C H A F T. That is incorrect. But you're almost right. The correct spelling is W-I-S-S-E-N-S-C-H-A-F-T, Wissenschaft. Uh-oh, thus if I told you you'll have to start within 20 seconds, that's why I had to hurry and start the spelling, right? But you knew the spelling, I'm sure. You have guessed it almost, almost. right? But anyways, you have earned your 30 points from this round. Well done. Parisa, are you ready? Yes. I just love that smile and actually it motivates us when we see our spellers with that big smile, so confident. Let's start with your one. Good luck. Parisa, the first word is rummage. Rummage and it means to move things around carelessly while searching for something. The word is rummage. The spelling is R-U-M-M-A-G-E, rummage. That is correct. Beautiful. The second word is miasma. Miasma, and it means a mass of air that is dirty and smells unpleasant. The word is miasma. The spelling is M-I-A-S-M-A, -A -A, miasma. That is correct. Two on two. The third word for you is humdinger. Humdinger, and it means Something that is very exciting or impressive. The word is humdinger. The spelling is H-U-M-B-D-I-N-G-E-R. Humdinger. Parisa, that is incorrect. The word was humdinger and it's spelled H-U-M-D-I-N-G-E-R. Humdinger. Oh, oh, you have used one extra letter. Anyways, going for the fourth one. Good luck. The fourth word is omasum. Omasum, and it means the muscular third stomach of a ruminant animal. The word is omasum. Is it O U M A I S M, omasum? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Uh -oh. The correct spelling is O M A S U M, omasum. Okay, all right. Good luck for the next one. Final word for you is confrea. Confrea, and it means a fellow member of a profession. The word is confrea. 
The spelling is C O N F R A I R Confria. That is incorrect. But you almost had it. The correct spelling is C O N F R E R E Confria. Not a bad effort. You got it 30 points from this round, Carissa. Well done. Shagor, it seems my contestants are a little nervous for the grand finale. Please relax. Right. Are you ready? Yes. Let's start with your one. Okay. All the very best. Shagor, the first word is dolorous. Dolorous and it means feeling or showing great sadness. The word is dolorous. Dolorous. Dolorous is the word. D O L O R U S dolorous. That is incorrect. Uh oh. But you almost had it correct. The correct spelling is D O L O R O U S. Dolorous. Okay, four more words to go, and you can do it, Shagor. Let's go for the next one. The next one is Goliath. Goliath, and it means a person or thing that is very large or powerful. The word is Goliath. G O L I A T H. Goliath. That is correct. Oh, there you go. Fifteen points, Shagor. Good job. The third word is cornucopia. Cornucopia, and it means a decorative object shaped like an animal's horn, shown in an art. The word is cornucopia. Okay. C O R N U C O P I A. Cornucopia. That is correct. The fourth word for you is bravura. Bravura, and it means great skill and enthusiasm in doing something artistic. The word is bravura. Bravura. Bravura is the word. B R A V I O R A. Bravura. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is B R A V U R A. Bravura. Last word for you, Shagor. I'm sure you can make it. Concentrate. Shagor, the final word for you is ponage. Ponage, and it means the action or fact of utterly defeating an opponent or a rival. The word is ponage. P O N A G E ponage. That is incorrect, but you almost had it. The correct spelling is P W N A G E ponage. All right. Good job. Thirty points. You have got your thirty points from this round, Shagor. Well tried. Lamia, how are you feeling right now? Very excited. Very excited. That's good. We want to hear that. Ready to start the first round? Yes. All right. All the best. Lamia, the first word for you is effigy. Effigy, and it means a statue of a famous person or a saint or a god. The word is effigy. E F F I G Y effigy. That is correct. Good start, Lamia. The second word for you is gunj. Gunj is the word, and it means an unpleasant, sticky substance. The word is gunj. G U N G E gunj. That is correct. Whoa! Two on two. Good going. The third word for you is tronch. Tronch, and it means one of the parts into which. An amount of money or a number of shares in a company is divided. The word is tranche. T R A U N C H tranche. That is incorrect, but you almost had it. The correct spelling is T R A N C H E tranche. Okay, two more words to go. Relax. The fourth word is kapellmeister. Kapellmeister, and it means the leader or conductor of an orchestra or a choir. Kapellmeister. Kapellmeister is the word. C A M M L E M A E S T A. Kapellmeister. That is incorrect. The word was Kapellmeister, and it's spelled K A P E L L M E I S T E R. Kapellmeister. Oh, that was too long. Anyways, let's go for the final word. We can do it. All the best. The final word for you is fushet. Fushet, and it means. A thin fold of skin. Fochet. Fochet is the word. F A U C E T T E. Fochet. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is F O U R C H E T T E. Fochet. 
Okay, you got your 30 points from this round, Lamia. Well tried. Sakib, you are ready to score 75? Let's see. All right, all the best. Sakib, the first word for you is Falong. Falong, and it means a unit for measuring distance equal to 220 yards or 201 meters. The word is Falong. Is it F A R L O N G? Falong? That is incorrect. Oh. But you almost had it. The correct spelling is F U R L O N G, Falong. All right, listen to the word properly, get ready with the spelling, then go for it, okay? Moving on. The second word for you is hammock. Hammock. And it means a small hill or pile of earth. The word is hammock. Is it H-A-M-M-O-C-K? Hammock. That is incorrect. Oh. But you're getting very close. The correct spelling is H-U. M-M-O-C-K, hammock. You still have got six more seconds. Please take your time, then go for the spelling, all right? Ready? Good, moving on. The third word for you is spigot. Spigot, and it means a device in a tap that controls the flow of liquid from a container. The word is spigot. Is it S-P-I-G-G-O-T, spigot? That is incorrect. The correct spelling is S-P-I-G-O-T, spigot. Take a deep breath. Can we hear for Saki, please, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for him. Let's cheer him up. Let's go for the award now. The fourth word is fellows. Fellows, and it means the outer rim of a wheel. Alternately pronounced as feliz. F-A-L-E-U-S-E, fellows. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is F-E-L-L-O-E-S, fellows. Okay, okay, never mind. Last one for you. Listen to it properly, go for it. Ready? Yeah. Good luck. The final word for you is Sengali. Sengali, and it means a person who exercises a controlling influence on another person for sinister purpose. The word is Sengali. Is it S-A-N-G-A-L-L-Y, Sengali? That is incorrect. The correct spelling is S-V-E-N-G-A-L-I, Sengali. Oh, a little disappointing, but anyways, two more rounds left. I'm sure you'll get your scores up there. All right, and that brings us to the end of our first round. Viewers, it's time to go for a short Champs 21 break. But before that, I would like to thank you all for participating for the Spell It competition. Spell It competition apnara ongsho niyechen ebong ajkeo nite parben tobe rat 12 ta porjonto apnaderke janie dite chai aaj rat 12 tar por apnara jene nite parben apnader moddho theke kon shei 30 jon darshok jara bijoyi hoyeche now going for our short champs 21 break don't go anywhere because on the other side of the break we have got two more exciting rounds stay tuned by champs21.com in association with Blue. We just completed our first round and it's time to take a look at the scores after the first round. Nabila at 15 points. Well tried, Nabila. Tausif at 30 points. Well done. Parisa also at 30 points. Good job. Shagor at 30 points. Lamia also at 30 points. And Saki couldn't score yet, but I'm sure you're ready for the next one. All right then, now get ready for the second round, which is Spell Hive. <music> Nabila, talk to me a little bit. What are you thinking? I think, inshallah, I can make a comeback. That's the spirit. Can we hear for her, please, ladies and gentlemen? Okay then, we are ready. Nabila is also ready. Let's start our second round. Nabila, 
The hive is on your screen. The first word starts with the letter C. The first word means attractive in a pretty or endearing way. The second word means an angle less than 90 degree. The third word means a minister with pastoral responsibility. The fourth word means shaped like a bow. And the last word means correcting all details and your time starts now. The first word is C U T E cute. That is correct. Ten the points. second word is A C T U. A C U T E acute. That is also correct. 20. Good the point. last word is A C C U R A T E accurate. That is correct. Whoa. Very good. You have more than a minute. The third word means a minister with pastoral responsibility. Add one letter to the second word or get rid of one letter from the fifth one. The fourth word means shaped like a bow or curved. The third word means a minister with pastoral responsibility. Give a try. Any word that is coming up in your mind. Go, 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 go. G uh, give is this a uh, uh, fourth word? Quickly. It means shaped like a bow. Or See car. You. Go, go, go. Give us a word quickly. Quickly. C U R C O. Oh, time's up, Nabila. Okay. Okay, let's, let's see. Let's see. Nabila, the third word which you didn't get was curate, C-U-R-A-T-E, and the fourth word which you got wrong was accurate, and it's spelled A-R-C-U-A-T-E, accurate. All right. Anyways, you got your 30 points from this round, Nabila. Well done. Okay. Kasif, you got completely 50 points in our quarterfinal. So are you ready to score the... 50, like top. Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> ready to go. All right, then. Let's start with your one. Good luck. Tosef, the hive is on your screen. The first word starts with the letter Y. The first word means a loud, sharp cry, especially of pain, surprise, or delight. The second word means a narrow passageway between or behind buildings. The third word means the kitchen in a ship or aircraft. The fourth word means an abnormal reaction of the body caused by eating, touching, or something. The last word means a story, poem, or picture with hidden meaning, and your time starts now. First word is yell, Y-E-L-L. -L. That is correct. Ten points. And the last word is A-L-L-E-G-O-R-Y, allegory. That is also correct. Okay, 20 points. You have enough time. Uh, the second word is L-A, A-L-L-E-Y, L-A. Correct as well. Very good. The fourth word means an abnormal reaction of the body caused by eating or touching something. A L E R G Y allergy. Could A L E R G Y allergy. That is not correct. Try the third one quickly. Just add one letter to the second word. Forget about fourth. Go for the third one. Think. Please think. You can, you can, you can. The third word means the kitchen in a ship or aircraft. I'm sure you know that. Make a guess if there's any word. Okay, and your time is up. Let's find out. Tosef, the third word which you missed was galley. G-A-L-L-E-Y. And the fourth word, you got it right, but you spelt it wrong. The correct spelling is A-L-L-E-R-G-Y, allergy. After all, it's a spelling contest. We'll have to focus on that. So please be calm and give us the correct spelling. But well done, Tasif. 30 points from this round. Good job. And now it's Parisa's time. Let's start with your hive. Good luck, Parisa. Parisa, the hive is on your screen. The first word starts with the letter P. The first word means a person who is the same age and social status as you. The second word means a thin pancake. The third word means a set of instructions for preparing a particular dish. The fourth word means the action of receiving something. And the last word means very old and not in good condition or health. And your time starts now. The first word 
first word is uh, Pierre. P E E R. Pierre. Ten points. That the is third correct. word is recipe. R E C I P E. Recipe. That is also correct. Good going. You have more than a minute, so take your time. The second word means. The fourth word is receipt. R E C E I P T. Receipt. That too is correct. Very good. Move on. The last word is decrepit. D E C R E P I T. Decrepit. That is correct. Wow, just one more left. Take your time. Look at the meanings. Try with the letters. The second word means a thin pancake. The word means a thin pancake. with the letters from first and third word you can concentrate concentrate focus focus is it creep c r e e p creep that is not correct oh and your time's up can we have the correct spelling please first of the second word was creep and it's spelled C R E P E, crepe or crepe. All right, and very good. You earned your 40 points on this round. Very well done. And now, moving on to Shagor. Let's start with your hive. I'm sure you are all set. Good luck. Shagor, the hive is on your screen. The first word starts with the letter I. The first word means a plan, thought, or suggestion about what to do in a situation. The second word means the means of communication through TV, radio, newspaper, and internet. The fourth, third word means in cricket and over in which no points are scored. The fourth word means the third note of the diatonic scale of any key. And the last word means a powerful explosive and your time starts now. The first word is idea, I-D-E-A. That is correct. The second word is media, M-E-D-I-A. That too is correct. The third word is maiden, M-A-I-D-E-N. Correct as well. 30 points already on. More than one minute left. The fourth word means the third note of the diatonic scale of any key. How about the last word, which means a powerful explosive? The last word is dynamite, D-Y-N-A-M-I-T-E. That is correct. Beautiful. Just the fourth word left. The fourth word means the third note of the diatonic scale of any key. Either add one letter with the third word or get rid of one letter from the fifth one. Last 10 seconds. Make a guess. Make a guess. Give us a word quickly. Oh, time's up. Shagar, the fourth word which you didn't get was mediant. And it's spelled M-E-D-I-A-N-T, mediant. Brilliantly played, Elsa, because 40 points from the hive. Well done. <laughs> Lamia, ready? Yes. Let's move on. Lamia, the hive is on your screen. The first word starts with the letter R. The first word means a feeling of violent anger that is difficult to control. The second word means a variety of things of a particular type. The third word means a long open box that horses and cows can eat from. The fourth word means a piece of clothing. And the last word means a small part of something that has broken off and your time starts now. The first word is rage, R-A-G-E. That is correct. The second word is range, R-A-N-G-E. That too is correct. The fourth word, it's garment, G-A-R-M-E-N-T. Could you spell it again? G-A-R-M-E-N-T, garment. That is, that is correct. Okay, very good. The last word is fragment, F-R-A-G-M-E-N-T. Correct as well. Wow, 40 points already earned. One more to go and a minute in hand. Take your time. The third word means a long open box 
that horses and cows can eat from. A long open box that horses and cows can eat from. Half a minute to go. Give us the word when you're ready. Why don't you try with the letters? Last 10 seconds, Lamia. Make a guess. Anything going on in your mind? Oh, time's up. Lamia, the third word which you missed was manger, and it's spelled M A N G E R, manger. Okay, well played. 40 points, Lamia. Sakib, we couldn't score the first round, but uh, are we ready for the second one? Yes. Please relax, concentrate. You have got enough time. Look at the meanings and go for it. Can we hear for Sakib, ladies and gentlemen? All the best. Sakib, the hive is on your screen. The first word starts with the letter C. The first word means an instant of a particular situation. The second word means a person or a thing that gives rise to an action, phenomenon, or condition. The third word means a group of words with a subject and a verb to form a sentence. The fourth word means not connected with spiritual or religious matters. And the last word means a merry-go-round at a fair and your time starts now. Is the first word uh, KCSC. That is correct. 10 points. Uh, is the uh, last word carousel, C A R O U S E L? That too is correct. Okay, 20 points. How about the fourth word, which means? Secular, S E C U L A R. That is correct. Very good going. You have more than a minute. Is the uh, third word clause C L A U S E? That is correct. Good going. Uh, the second word is cause, C-A-U-S-E, -E, cause. Five out of five, that's a nice little time. That's like scaling the summit, ladies and gentlemen. Sake, 50 points from Swell High. Well done, Sake. And that brings us to the end of our second round. And yes, indeed, we'll be heading for another short Champs 21 break. Please don't go anywhere because as you can see, the competition is getting tense and we are waiting to find out who is going to take away that gorgeous trophy after the third round. Stay tuned. of the fourth season of the Daily Star Spelling Bee, enlightened by Summit, brought to you by champs21.com in association with Blue. Priya Darshok, a pura season jure, Summit er show jonne, amra shomman janano shujok peye chilam, apna der priyo shikhaak der koyek jonke. Along with Summit, we salute our nation builders. And now, it's time to start our third and final round, which is Spell Buzz. But before that, I would like to take you through your scores after the second round. Nabila at 45 points. Well tried, Nabila. After that, Tausuf at 60 points. And now, Parisa at 70 points. Shagor also at 70 points. Lamia, 70 points too. Sakib at 50 points. Well played in the last round. And now, moving on to our Third and final round, Spell Buzz.
Ladies and gentlemen, before we start our final round, can we hear for our six finalists here? So, let's take a deep breath. Are we all ready? Yes. 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 All right then. Let's start our final round of the grand finale. All the very best. Spellers, the first buzzword is a six-letter word. It starts with the letter B. And it means talk rapidly and continuously. Okay. It is Tausif who has pressed the buzzer first. Go for it. The word is uh, P-R-A-T-E. That is incorrect. Uh oh, Tasif, you got five points deducted and you cannot participate after the second clue. Five of these followers ready for the second clue? The second clue is on your screen. And it is Nabila. B L A B B E R, blabber. Nabila, that is incorrect. Babble. The word was babble and it's spelled B A B B L E, babble. You lost five points, Nabila. Please be very careful. All the best going for the second buzzword. The second buzzword is a nine-letter word. It starts with the letter C, and it means a self-service restaurant. That is Shagor. Cafeteria, C-A-F-E-T-E-R-I-A, -E -E, cafeteria. That is correct. Wow, brilliant! Ten points added to your score. The third buzzword is an eight-letter word. It starts with the letter S, and it means a plan designed to achieve a particular long-term aim. And that is Parisa. You have to start. Start. Sorry, time's up. My dear spellers, you cannot take time after you press the buzzer. You lose five points here. And you cannot participate after the second clue. Now get ready, five of our spellers, for the next clue. The next clue is on your screen. And that's... Sakib. S-T-R-A-T-E-G-Y, strategy. That is correct. Well done. Five points for you, Sakib. The next buzzword is a nine-letter word. It starts with the letter C, and it means an instrument with a standard scale of readings. Marisa, once again. Calculator, C-A-L-C-U-L-A-T-U-R. That is not correct. Oops. Marisa. Five more points deducted. And you cannot participate after the second clue. Rest of you, get ready for the second clue. The second clue is on your screen. And that's Akib. Uh, is it C-A-L-L-I-B-R-A-T-E? Calibrate. Sakib, the word is right, but the spelling is wrong. The correct spelling is C-A-L-I-B-R-A-T-E. Calibrate. You lose your five points here for the wrong spelling. Okay, two more words to go. All the very best. The second last buzzword is a 10-letter word. It starts with the letter A, and it means the way that someone or something appears. That's Parisa. Appearance. A-P-P-E-A-R-A-N-C-E. -E. Appearance. That is correct. Wow! Classy! 10 more points for you. The last buzzword, but before that, let me take you through to your scores. Parisa is at 70 points. Shagor is at 80 points. And Lamia is at 70 points. Spellers, all six of you get ready for the buzzword. The last buzzword is an 11 letter word. It starts with the letter P, and it means a particular way of regarding something. Okay, Nabila, go for it. P R O C E D U R E, procedure. That is incorrect. Uh oh. Five points deducted and you cannot participate after the second clue. Rest five of you, get ready for the second clue and playing for five points. The second clue is on your screen. Shagor. Perspective, P-E-R-S, P-E-C-T-I-V, perspective. That is correct. Wow, you earned your five points, Shagor, well played. And that brings us to the end of our spelling contest of the grand finale. I'm Rakun Tuliati, I'm with the prize distribution, ladies and gentlemen. Get set. After that wonderful spelling contest, we are now here to hand over the prizes to our brilliant six spellers of the fourth season of the Daily Star Spelling Bee, ladies and gentlemen. Fifth runner-up, Chaudhuri Nabila Tasneem, student of Cardiff International School, Dhaka. May I please request the Vice Chancellor of IUP, Mr. M. Omar Rahman, to hand over the crest. Fourth runner-up, Saqib. Ahmed, student of Anandaniketan representing Sulat. May I 
please request Mr. Zafir Ibn Hai, Chief Operating Officer, Food Division, Global Harvest, to hand over the crest to Saqib. And now moving on to our third runner-up, Mohammed Tausif Hussain Khan, student of Mirzapur Cadet College, representing Tangai. And may I please request Mr. Shaikh Shiraj, Director and Head of News of Impress Telephones, to hand over the crest. Lamia Mezabin, you are going to receive the crest, the second runner-up. And may I please request once again Mr. Zakir Ibn Hai to hand over the crest to Lamia Mezabin. And now, Parisa, please come forward and receive your crest for being the first runner-up of the fourth season. And may I please request Mr. Farid Khan, the Vice Chairman of Summit Group, to hand over the crest to our first runner-up, Parisa Islam student of Mirpur Girls Idol Laboratory Institute, Dhaka. And now, the big prize, our champion speller of the Daily Star Spelling Bee in Latin by Summit, brought to you by Champs21.com in association with Bloop, who it is, Sabir Hossein Shagor, student of Maple Leaf International School with 85 points. May I please request Mr. Mahfuz Anam to give away the gown to our champion seller. And now I'll request Mr. Mohammed Aziz Khan, chairman of Summit Group, to hand away the ticket to our champion seller to Washington, D.C. And now, along with Mr. Mohammed Aziz Khan, I'll request our chief guest, Mr. Sunayan Ahmed Polak MP, State Minister for Arts and Education, along with all the guests here, we will hand over this gorgeous trophy to our champion seller now. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to hear for our champion seller, Sabir Hussain Shabur, student of Maple Leaf International School, Dhaka. Congratulations, Shabur, along with this gorgeous trophy. He is going to visit Washington, D.C., along with the parents.